ultimate fallout for uh, up and down you know it was trending a little closer 33 3400 took a little dip i mean and this this happens i mean sometimes you get people looking slowing down i mean it's not a significant dip but somebody caught caught it on a downturn and probably gonna be pretty damn happy with it so, uh, so there were a couple 28 and 29 sales i think also yeah so i you know it dipped before it'll probably do it again a little bit here and there and I don't expect it to change significantly, truthfully, because I think all of us would think at twenty five hundred, we'd all be like, "Am I buying in again?" Um, I think that's just our mentality. Uh, another book that's heading back towards records. This one, I mean, it was three thousand a couple weeks ago. Now it's trending up to thirty four fifty. Uh, not a newsstand. Not you know, just up. <laughs> I don't Great know. Book. Um. You know, everybody spent so much time thinking, talk about what's the next Walking Dead. What's the next Walking Dead? Apparently, the next Walking Dead was already out. It was Invincible. <laughs> I, I honestly am surprised. I really didn't think that the animated show would cause it to spike as much as these numbers. I mean, I thought it was at a solid number at 2K. Um, it's a rare book. What is it, 7,000-ish print run or even less maybe? I, I think that's the number, but I could be wrong. Especially uh, when they don't even know how to tag their own grade. And you and you were a champion on this book, man. Like you were, I, I was. I just didn't think that animation. Would do, I mean, naturally, it was a rare book. People love the story. It's a rabid fan base. Yeah, but that first trailer was fucking hot trash, dude. Like, uh, yeah. remember the first trailer? It was terrible. It was. And then, and the show's awesome. Yeah, I, I mean, I sold I'm my copy. Behind, I, I did but... well. I, I don't care. I didn't have a nine eight. I kind of wish I'd had one, but I, I'm glad it's doing well. I just didn't think it would get this number. I thought 22, 25, but who knows anymore, right? It's hard to predict where these highs are going to be. Cartoons that cuss, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, it may go up for a while, and it, who knows how many seasons they can do. There's a lot of source material on this one, man. Yep. And they're not really going fast. They're they're about an, an issue or two per episode. They're not they're not burning through it. So we will see. Um, speaking of, of the kind of old guard saga, I, I caught this one purely because I hadn't noticed one in a minute. Um, Canadian sale was roughly $500. And, and I just more was thinking, man, uh, you know, this was the gold standard in independent books going. And, you know, some of these newer ones are, are already surpassing it in numbers and value, you know, um, yeah, it's killing the children. It's already higher than that. Yeah, yeah you cannot ice buy an RRP. Been approaching it. You well, know that, right? Like, well, there do, are no RRPs on eBay right now. They're right. fucking gone. Well, do do we buy this? Okay, so this is a good example. Is this the book to buy? I mean, yeah, it's 500 bucks, but you start storing them, like, one a month club or whatever you can afford, like, one every two month club, and you start storing, a, you know, a, a small graded box of these bad boys away, and then maybe for that book for that book absolutely i like that i I i've always loved that book i had one at some point what is the census numbers on nine eights of this i i didn't i didn't dig into it i'll look right now all right i would think it'd be really high because this wasn't this was not i mean this was not a low printed book book no um but it it's basically i mean when what was it 52 when they stopped what three and a half years ago yep. and i mean it's it's basically it, everybody kind of thought it would drop i mean it was like 350 400 back then it never really dropped it's it's pretty much been exactly that number and just slowly gone up yeah and, and um, some flows but nothing significant pretty much never came down um from where people thought it would because they they you know obviously the book stopped so yeah i and it's a sleeping giant probably agreed uh, this one, Sean made fun of me a couple weeks ago. That was maybe five weeks ago because I pointed out it went from about a two twenty five to two hundred fifty dollar book to three hundred three twenty five, and now in another five weeks, it's uh, it's actually I looked and there were sales higher than this one. This was the one that caught me was four sixty, but one sold for five hundred, so wasn't a newsstand either. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not surprised. No, uh, I'm not. I'm just. I'm just, just kind of like, wow. Yeah. No, I mean, think about it. 
it, I mean, it's fairly logical. And like, and the fact that they don't give out the nine eights anymore, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's just where you, guys, it's where you should invest. It's not the old all. We'll just, I'll just, I'll just grade my own nine eight. It's not, it's not happening yeah. in that area. You can anymore. grade some nine fours. <laughs> oh yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, Saga's the same way for the record. So I ordered uh, like a ton of those from DCBS back in the day in uh, Mylar's with fullbacks. Sent them uh, or had them uh, sold them to a buddy. I had like a short box of them. Long story. Um, he sent I don't know tons to CGC and got like a twenty percent nine eight pass through on them. I mean they fucking hammered him with nine sixes. Oh, so uh, there might be a lot of nine eights on the census, but they ain't giving out anymore if they don't have to. You not, know what I mean? Not at all, man. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how clean they are. Uh, I mean, that's not completely true. I mean, I I, I can't some some really perfect uh, like bronze and copper. Um, actually, both hit some hit some nine eights, but let's just say that uh, it isn't what it used to be, and which kind of sucks because. You can look at a nicer nine four, and this uh, you know this isn't across the board or anything, and then pick up a nine eight slab and be like, shit, mine's way nicer, you know? Yeah. And uh, well, yeah, I, and who knows? I mean, there's a lot of variables in that whole thing too. You know, postal services crap these days, and um, you know they're expanding. So I, who knows what's happening, where and how it's happening, why it's not as many nine eights, but yeah. Is that are you, are you guys saying that is just for like bronze and copper or is that yeah. on modders yeah. too? Yeah, uh, I mean it's it's hit or miss on on with with your grader, but uh, um, but de but definitely uh, I mean bronze. I mean come on, it's just it's older, so you're playing whatever. But like yeah, the coppers no, they're just no, they're they're not they're not dealing with it anymore. Um, you know what I mean? Um, I mean the the, the Spidey three hundred and New Meets ninety eight nine eights, they're just uh. They're going to be a lot stricter, and that's it. Like, well, don't just don't expect, just don't expect to get them. Well, and I don't. Spidey three hundred is a notoriously tough book, too. No, oh, it's extraordinarily tough. Yeah, and I don't. I, mean, I don't honestly. Th I mean, I mean, I'm looking at it from from the sports card angle. Getting PSA tens is brutally hard, and there and overall that helps the market. Um, it makes them worth probably double what they should be just because they are hard to get but it also makes it also makes nines worth more so even even getting nine sixes on some of these is going to help in the long run so if you've got if you're buy, if you're looking to buy buy the nine sixes i think they they've got room to move um on a lot of these books that where the nine eights are selling for you know two three four grand buy those nine sixes i think it it it's already happened in the sports car market that nines are now desirable when they used to not be. Well, so. and I think it depends on the book. But yes, I, I think there's some intelligent buys at the nine sixes. Yes. Um, we spoke of 300. I didn't want to post that one today, but uh, it's, it's partner in crime showed up. Uh, 301, which uh, I did do some census looking on this one because I, I always remember that it's... Uh, this is a mofo of a book. Uh, it's always been tough. Two hundred three nine eighths of this one versus thirteen hundred eighty six of the three hundred. Um, yes, the three hundred's been a more popular book the long term, but this one has always been a pretty expensive nine eight. Um, this sale kind of was a jump. It had been floating about a third of the nine eights of three hundred. You know, in that. $1,500 range or so, it finally kind of just drifted back. It tends to live at about half of the 300 as far as the 9.8 price, um, mainly because it's just such a tough one to get. I think it has a lot of the same production flaws as the as the 300, and it's uh, just been a tough one. I, I I think people didn't bother to grade it for a long time. It's it's not as it's it's nowhere near as thick. So it didn't. It didn't sustain the damage. It's not printed. I mean, there's less printing. I mean, I don't know. But okay. I don't you know see what, that it's not blowing up. You know, what's another one that disappeared. They used to sell for more than three hundred, like five years ago in ninety. I, I looked. It, it never really did on significant occasions. It it generally, if you followed the whole year trends, it was about 50, 60 percent. All right. 
Yeah, so I think these are interesting, the like ASM 301. The other one that I think is interesting is uh, Hulk 182, right? The third issue in that arc. Uh, there are no high grades for sale on eBay anymore. I, now, what I didn't do, and shame on me, I meant to do this before the podcast, uh, was look at the CGC census to see how many times that book had ever been subbed. But I think as people try to pick up like 180 and 181, they're going to want the 182s. I think it's the same deal with this one, right? Like as they pick up the 298 and the 299, they're going to want the yeah, obviously these are such, the 301 too. These are such beautiful complete. bookends, you know? Yeah. And this was the one that nobody wanted, right? Like it was a cool cover, but people weren't really big cover collectors back then. They wanted 298 first McFarlane, 299 first Cameo. 300 the anniversary issue first full yeah um kind of the same trickle down effect our friend the uh second print of uh carnage hitting 425 i mean the first prints are busting over a thousand bucks 1200 1300 maybe uh so this one is just you know high tide raises all ships on this guy mm-hmm we all, we all knew it was coming. We probably, none of us bought any because we're like, eh, it's a second print. I don't need it. I got well, one left. <laughs> nine, eight or no? Uh, nah, probably a nine, six. Yeah. Just, to, just to play safe. Okay. Um, I think Leg showed this one that shocked me. He uh, threw it in the chat. Legend of Zelda one. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Bro. I nice. got one somewhere. I, I got a shit. Uh-uh. That's a shame. Project Rumored series. semicolon. <sighs> what? <laughs> Project Rumored semicolon. Yeah. Oh shit! How about how, will you take seventeen hundred then? <laughs> oh, I got. I got to get my copy to see. Everybody's speed. playing Zelda right now. Like, rumored. <laughs> oh, so some numbers on this guy, just because I, I really had no idea. Um, 156 total graded, 58 9.8s, 44 9.6s. Um, so there's more 9.8s than there are of Hulk 182, but... <laughs> yeah. Um, the last sale of a 9.8 was actually in March. Anyone care to guess how much? 680. 400? Yeah. So big jump for somebody pushing rumor news. Well, somebody um, must have gotten 50 of those fucking 98s. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Dennis, Dennis, is that you? <laughs> and then started Robin. a project. And then started a project rumor. <laughs> you know, I've heard there's rumors floating around for. Well, it got now. it just got shit canned from uh, Netflix. Remember, because they yeah. they let the like that was the news. There's been no subsequent news. Yeah. Oh well. Um, I, I will say that the good. project was canceled. So uh, I did I notice there's. Market. A variant on this one I didn't know about. There's a in the census a no price variant. Wow! I'm assuming it means there's no price on the book. Uh, yeah. Only 15 copies of the census on that one. Zero nine eights and three nine sixes. So All right. I'm gonna look up, for. You can buy look. a sealed game for that much. Like on this on the uh, SNES, you could buy a sealed Legend of Zelda. For that much, fuck that. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have the game. <laughs> yeah, I don't even collect games, and I'd rather have the game. <laughs> the gold case, dude. Yeah, gold. that that was my childhood, man. Yeah, I was yeah. like that fucker in a, my underwear drawer will just stay there forever. I'll be happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, this is a book I like, and this is one that I'm maybe gonna kick Nico's ass for sort of talking me down from. Uh, Jesus Christ. No. The Get ever the more rare out of here. Um, preview of the nest with a shitty ass picture. Um, I, I looked at the numbers on this book because this is one that I've bought a few of. I sold the McClay one, I think. Um, I have a 9 6 myself. Um, there are three nine All eights, right. four nine sixes, seven nine fours, 34 total graded. Um, sorry, John. This one sold for thirty-two hundred. I recall looking; there was a two thousand dollars sale in nineteen, and then earlier this year, one sold for twenty-five hundred. And I was highly considering it. And I talked myself out of it. And George is like, 
you really want to drop 2,500 on that? I'm like, oh, okay. Um, but I, you know, I think this one is just interesting. It's, it, there's not a lot of them. I mean, I know we see them, but you don't see stashes of them. Um, it's a, what, eight page book, I think. Yeah. And this hits like all the, like the, the charts on crossover and nostalgia, uh, so many different fans of this in general. It's the rarity first valiant published book first yeah. valiant published book this is a major major book that is undervalued in my opinion when people used to like valiant yeah well it's I still Nintendo, like valiant man. i still like valiant cool um so i yeah this one not shocking but shocking all at once i guess it was, it was a bit of a wow um do you think that fucking price is sustainable i don't know Oh, man. There's not, I don't know. It, it's a tough book to, to find in grade. Uh, I've seen some, but a lot of them are beat to piss. I'm surprised there's that many nine eights because there weren't for a long time. Of the, of the mark, of the, is it, is it, do you know, have you felt a raw one? Is it like that, that slick card stock like they did on a lot of their No, stuff? no, it's like paper. The Mario it, is? Mario is like yeah. very thin stock. Ah, okay. It's very thin. A lot of them are tattered. It's it's a very it's not quite the it's not quite the sonic and being like all newsprint because it does have a glossy yeah. paper but it's yeah. thin. Oh boy, look at, look at this. Um, this book <laughs> is one that interests me. Nice. I don't. I, I think I'm surprised because this one doesn't seem to be trending up like everything else. Spawn. It isn't. It, it's more of a novelty, I guess, but that came with the uh, VHS. There is one nine nine of this puppy and. 48, 9, eights, 79 total graded. Um, probably it's, you know, the mini book thing always throws thing off, but for under 200 bucks, man, that feels like a pretty solid buy. It just they, isn't yeah. turning up. They honestly, I, I think that book must have kept really well in there. I, I, I know I've got one or two um, somewhere. To be honest, I, I didn't even consider looking at them for grading, even though they, they look nice. Um, uh, not that I wouldn't now, but. Uh, also, uh, so uh, my comic shop.com, I remember at one point, because it was on my watch list, they had like 25, 30 copies. Like, you know how they individually grade and scan books? Yeah. Uh, they don't, I mean, sometimes they don't scan them, so I, I pay attention to that. Like, and I think they had like 15 of them up that they listed, and they're you know notoriously tough raw graders. They listed like 15 copies at 9.6 raw. Huh. Okay. So I think, however that thing was like was sealed, like it got in there nice and came and came out nice. So like I don't know how many are out there, but they they must have survived pretty well compared to most packaged goods. Well, I'll show you guys how they survived. Well, they're <laughs> That's in a our buddy. So the real Brian is, McClay, what's up? Yeah, this is how they survived. So uh, this is a book that I've been buying for years. I probably have maybe close to 20 of them right and and here is why and i'll show you this not anymore you can't do this anymore um but it's it's because uh you could buy these in the vhs on ebay for cheap because people thought they were just trash and they the, the casing does fall apart sometimes but some are in really nice condition they have the t there's two of them there's another pink one that's a uh, it starts with a V. I can't forget what it is, but it's, it's Todd McFarlane too, and it has Spawn. The books are always really trash because they've been put in this, but that little Spawn thing sat on the back end of the book, wow. so it's in it's in a good spot. It doesn't it, it just get tore up. Yeah, and, and it's got a little it's got a little numbered card in here. You can see this card right here. This is numbered to to what copy number it is. Hmm. So pretty cool stuff. But yeah, I must have a box of just packaged just like these of probably 10 or 15 in the garage nice. because you could buy these things for six bucks on Wait, in the garage in Arizona. Yeah. They're yeah. Not, they're not all melted. No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> all right. Well, the VHS probably won't play. Yeah. The VHS probably won't play. You're right. You are right, sir. Very right. Cool. So let me go. Let me go back. All right. How much are VHS players on eBay? <laughs> Where are you at, John? Uh, I got you. Um, right. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna do a f you know another spawn book, but also a forum for my boy Matt, who's been floating around the chat tonight. Um, those have been around a long time. Have probably seen this a few times. It's the spawn um, 
it says Spawn 5 German edition, but it's actually a printing of Spawn 9 with the, uh, you know, whatnot. CGC 9.8. I don't think it's a tough book to grade because of the, the hard. Yeah, but is that a lower thing. number for that? I felt like I've seen prior auctions that were higher. Or at least one prior auction was I, I think it ebbs and flows because people don't think about it, but it, it you know, within the foreign kind of niche, this is one of those books that people kind of found early. Mm. You know, kind of like the Turner Superman. There's been a, a handful of books that people go, Oh, that's a foreign. I don't know that one. I almost spent some money on it. Um, but I think this is starting to kind of pick back up in interest. So I was I was on a spawn kick and thought I'd share it if for all those new collectors that maybe hadn't seen it and haven't lived through the uh, uh, an, uh, spec cycle of this character, you know, which seems to happen every couple of years. Um, another big foreign sale, true auction that blew all of us away in the, the foreign market. This is uh, La Prensa Daredevil 1. Um, it had been a, you know, a few hundred bucks for years, maybe three, 400. I even bought one this, I don't know, it was this year or right at the end of last year for 400 bucks. Uh, this is a decent copy for, for La Prensa, um, probably in the six range, maybe as high as a seven, um, but blew out all our kind of estimations hitting 2000. I, I think the issue is it is we're so used to there being, you know, just cheap foreigns that the U S market is exploding so much that, you know, if, Daredevil one US is double, triple in price, and it's only logical some of these are double and tripling in price just because of you know the, the major key itself moving. Then you add a handful of more players in the market and it goes. Um, also today I saw the uh, there was a 1.5 CGC version of this that sold for nine nine seventy five. Jesus Christ. So uh, the foreign market is is picking up. You know, I, I know I've been beating the drums. I'm honestly almost to the point I'm not buying because it's, it's you know, at, at the prices, I'll, I'll I'll wait and watch. I'm not selling either. So, um, but yeah, some of these bigger Marvel keys, uh, La Prince is a big one. Um, it seems to be kind of the easiest one to translate over. People have been collecting the La Prince's a long time. Um, I did also see a, oh, I can't even remember which one. One of the Scandinavian Hulk ones sold for thirty five hundred today. So God a lot damn. of foreign sales moving, especially on the big Marvel keys. Very um, cool, George. I, I apologize for this one. I know you have been talking about it, but uh, newsstand Spider Man one nine eight starting to trend up, just like all the other newsstands. Um, you know, the standard book on this is still, I think, under a hundred bucks or right around a hundred, but the newsstand is going for, you know. Triple that. Uh, I want to talk about oh. the other one before I talk about this one. This Jesus book. Christ. First, uh, yeah. first Echo Echo. Over <laughs> yeah. So are, are we thinking this character is going to be bigger than Shuri? Because, you know, again, I can buy this one for 700 and this one I can buy for 1000 I, I, I just sometimes doubt people putting money in some of these particular items. Dude. So. Um, that, why? Dude, but, why? That, That's almost caught up with the with America. Yeah, but the, but she's, I mean, she's, America has no show of her own. She's going to have a show of her own. Um, she does, she does hit a, she does hit a dynamic of people, you know, yeah, with, I get being, you. with being, with being deaf that is really never been explored before. Um, other, I mean that, yeah, I mean, that, it's, it's a whole different, um, I, I don't think that, I, I don't think the thousand dollars is, is out of range on this. I don't think that's, I don't think that's crazy to be honest. I just, well, so that's just Gene Wilder I, and Richard Pryor on the cover. Is that, just when I, <laughs> I, I compare it to this book to me though, this we just is, got canceled. There we go. You know what I mean? This this book to me is she's going to obviously be a big player in the MCU if not helm the damn movie. Well, and, and okay, I think for what, the record, if, there's if she, if she different gets there, Shuri it, books that are more expensive. Though. Let's let's not fucking forget that. I mean, Christ, that fucking variant, the one Black Panther variant, Black Panther 1, Black and White yeah, Campbell. Yeah, yeah like, but I'm comparing a, a standard 
first appearance, non-variant. Yeah, but, well, there's no echo variant. So, you know, As, that may, but the point is they're equal, right? At that point, by all assessments, and is that soon, fucking as ridiculous? As, as soon as Shuri is confirmed as being Black Panther, it will be a thousand dollar book. That that's I guess that's what I was getting across is if I were gonna dump money in one, I would dump it in the other one. Because to me, a thousand seems like the cap on this guy. Now ask Carter, I was buying um Echo, uh Daredevil, David Mack covers. I'm like, is that Echo? Is that yeah. Echo? Is that Echo? I took them all. I'm like, I don't fucking I don't even know who Echo is. I'm like, is this one? No. The only you reason think that I, looks like her? I don't know. I've never read that shit. She did a nice uh, run all. in in the Moon Knight, I don't know, volume five, maybe. She was in that one. Fuck if I know, but I'll try to buy those too. Thanks. Um, David this Mack, one, hope he draws the cover. Uh, continuing to gain gain steam. I, this one, I, I understand why it's going, but man, I, I just think to myself, how many of these did I flip for 30, 40 bucks? Well, I mean, is that 17. the fucking iteration of the Thunderbolts that's even anybody's ever suggested ever? That's why that one doesn't make any damn sense to me. No chance. It's it's yeah. kind of, to me, like, you know, uh, Brave and the Bold 25. It, it is the name, but it's not the team. And yeah, The so difference I, is the Brave and the Bold 25 is a classic Silver Age banger. You know, but you know what I mean. That's, that's but hold on. Isn't this team still the the Zemo-led team? So this, if, if, if that is the first appearance of Zemo as this character, that's a big deal, right? Team, <clears throat> team books suck. Because Zemo, everybody's talking about Thunderbolts now because of a Zemo-led team, right? So they're going to probably do this type of thing. They're do not going to do the do the dancing. What's that? Do the video of Zemo dancing? Yeah, every he's a likable guy now. He's the likable Loki. He's the he's a character people love. He's a they're making him likable for a reason. Well, then, then buy, then buy Zemo books. Don't buy Thunder. Don't buy team books. But unless this is why they're, they're making they're, unless they're Avengers or Justice League. It says Thunderbolts. It says Thunderbolts on it. So pay seven hundred bucks. Hey, I don't know, man. Um, <laughs> I, just showing this Black Adam starting to really Ooh. peak. That's cool though, man. That's a sweet book. That is a great book. I love it. I don't. I think I have a copy floating around, not a 9.8, but I, I know I got a raw copy, but I have no idea where it's at. I, I haven't seen it in a long time. I hope I didn't sell it like an idiot. Um, I just root for Alex Ross books, you know? Yeah, it's true, too. Um, so this one is, <laughs> this is the head scratcher of the week to me. Um, Jesus Christ. Ado, Ghost Rider. Um, everything I can tell looks like the Buy It Now sold after this auction. That, that I mean, that honestly, like, that happens on comic sites a lot, and I laugh. Like, sometimes I'll screen cap and show people, like, there's just there's bid, there's bidding wars now. eBay, I would I would generally like to call that less likely. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I'll you'll see a like, like my comic shop has auctions where they sell a bunch of books, and there'll be like a, a you know a raw nine zero auction up to like sixty bucks when there's a nine two listed for like thirty two. <laughs> And it's just because people are just caught up, but uh, I don't know. Were they, if they were both listed at the same time, I don't know if there's a way to tell that. Hey, hey That's maybe a lot somebody of just up. maybe somebody just really liked those white pages. I, yeah, I was gonna say the white pages might be it. That's a good point. That's a pretty big premium, though. Jeez. White, yeah. Well, yeah. For for I guarantee you, probably you probably crack and resub that eight eight zero with white pages. It comes back off white to white. Yeah, that's a that's a I don't know. I I I don't. It could just be people didn't see that one. Maybe that one got listed right after this one. The seller didn't notice. I I didn't I didn't observe them both up at the same time. I just know the other one sold after, according to GPA, according to when I filter eBay. Uh, you know, maybe somebody just listed it right after this auction, not paying attention. Yeah, or, or people were watching this one, hadn't seen the other one pop up, and and bam. Either way, this book Snipe. is. Freaking Was the forty one hundred dollars sale at a my comic shop listing? No. Well, fuck. There goes my one no. rational explanation. No, because I think they do they do the free ship and then they do yeah. like by the your point. They always have a weird price because it's like a multiplier of whatever the the. Uh, Whatever the buyers at the price at the consignment price. Yeah, what what, what was the what was the eight zero that sold before the sixty eight hundred one? Um, 
four four grand. Four thousand range. I set the seven five record at like twelve hundred. That was great. Apparently, so I I just it could have been somebody and had it <laughs> queued up and looked at the last price and this one jumped about the same time. I I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, either way, healthy, good. You know. Yeah, and this he, book hey, is skyrocketing. Dude's like some of our age now. It's better. It's better lighting. Better listing picks. Yeah, that too. I mean, possibly, but you know, it happen happens all the time. Like, I mean, just people just have no I have no idea. Um, Duck Joe posted just in a hangout of, of a bookie bot, and I was like, oh, I haven't seen those on eBay lately. So I I looked it up, and there's a fifty dollar sale, and a week later there's uh uh you know a three or four dollar sale, and and it, and I'm just all dude, and I saw it was from a comic store, and I'm like. What kid do you have doing this? Like, do your homework. Like, there was just no other listed, so they just put it up for like four bucks or something. Yeah. Well, you know, can't can't fix it. No. Um, I I think we've shown this book before, but I needed an obligatory red, red chair. chair sale. Um, you know, Ghost Rider the uh, the catch version is is on fire. I, it's not surprising, but I I don't know. I guess I don't know how hard that is in a nine eight. Look, Did you ever key. get this guy? Did he ever email us or anything? I don't think so yet. No, he never, he never hit me back on eBay. I actually messaged him on eBay. Yeah, we're, uh, we're very disappointed, pink chair guy. We would like so, to talk so, to you. So low key, I've been trying to buy a new Santa one of these uh, raw. Um, it's been uh, challenging to say the least. Uh, everybody, you know, I saw one in a in a group I'm in, and. Um, Everybody just asked what the condition number one. It was a lot of like one through five or whatever they ran, and everybody just cared about the condition of number one. So it's it's becoming a more popularized book. Uh, obviously, besides uh, well, I mean, newsstand, I could see this high. I guess I just don't know on the grading on this. Wait one. till the jackoffs that are spending seven hundred dollars on fucking Danny Catch figure out that there's a J.C. Penny second print. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Oh, so you know. Did I say that out loud? I'm sorry. Oh boy. Yeah. Um, like it's Punisher to differentiate too. Just, just trying to trying to hit all the market caveats. Oh. Sometimes I get a little too focused on copper and modern and gold, so I'm trying to hit some of the mid mid stuff, the bronze, the silver. I, I stop looking sometimes because it's like I can't afford any of it right now. So, so the record for I'm, that at 1500. Yeah, I don't. I don't like talking about this when Ozzy wants to punch me over. We're selling a nine four. If he I, got, I, back. I did, I did Jesus. get a copy for forty bucks one, once because it was such low grade. I just want to see Spider Man take a shot at Tom Holland. Or I'm sorry, Punisher take a shot at Tom Holland. Oh wow! I'm, I, I'm, oh. This is the one book I regret not buying. Honestly, I've never had this book before. I think they could do the greatest like Punisher adult movie slash TV show, whatever, if they would just make him a Chris Kyle sort of character, you know what I mean? Like sniper cool. And then uh, you could make it, you could tell that story well enough now, um, edgy enough now. And I love Bernthal. I'd let him do it and just kickstart it all over again. And it would be perfect. All right. Uh, Hawkman. Caught a raw sale. I, I've seen a few high grades pop up, but they all get pulled down. So they're either selling private or or whatnot. There was an eight five up for about five grand, or best offer. It disappeared after two days. Not sold. Just gone. Um, so I, I'd love to get a place to track. This was one of the few sales that was actually you know a, an auction that ended. Me looking at it, there's a popped centerfold. It's decent shape. I, I'm assuming it's kind of in that. Four, four and a half, maybe a five range. So, fifteen hundred on a raw mid grade is pretty damn strong. Yeah. yeah, is that is that one of the uh, few DC books to believe in? I mean, Zatanna's coming to right. She'll yeah. have the same success as Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman, maybe way. Pardon me, way more. I, I think it's coming. I mean, it, the thing that's always held the backs the cover. She's not on the cover, but. People are getting used to that cover. It's not a terrible cover. It's just not. She's just well, not on it's it. going to get a lot better when Hawkman's in Black Adam, right? Yeah. Like, you know, because the comic book crazies like us were like, Hawkman, cool. But, like, you know, 
Yeah, I think that'll make them. it real mainstream. If they sell them. Um, I just thought I'd share this one. Yeah, that's another book I regret not buying. Yeah. I tried to buy Ozzy if you wouldn't let me. Woof. Yeah. It was an ugly ass copy, too. <laughs> All right. A couple gold well, books for you. Wait, wait, is it, wait, is it just a, Resto? Or it's an SS Resto. Yeah, it's an SS Resto. I was yep. looking at that, too. I was like, yep. Mm -hmm. that, at least, see, the yellow overpowers the purple. It does. So, you know what I mean? And if it's like, uh, how Resto can you be at a 1.5? <laughs> I don't know. Man. I've, I've always, I've literally always wondered that it could be you know? trimmed. Jesus. Yeah. Trust me, I had the point five trimmed ASM one, if you recall. But wouldn't trimmed, be, wouldn't trimmed be green label though, or no? Trimmed is no. Uh, it's the fucking deal. purple. Yeah, death. Trust, trust. But dude, I'd be fucking putting raggedy ass, fucking jagged shit in this, trying to get it to go back. Yeah. Um. That's a beautiful freaking book. God damn, Pedig that's fucking smart by pedigree. Nice. I, I'm sorry I didn't write down which pedigree it was, but frick, beautiful. Yeah, that that platinum or silver or whatever that is still throw me off. <laughs> that's freaking gorgeous. I mean, that's a tough book. All black. Oh damn. Goodbye. Um. Daring number nine, another you piece. Yeah, of thank you. Bitch. You son of a bitch. Why did you put this up, man? Why? I've been, I, so I watched this book. Um, how, how long has it been, Nico? How long did I watch this book? About for? a week. Yeah. Well, you didn't pull the you didn't pull the lever. I did. Uh, thank you, Style Collector. We appreciate it, man. Yeah, we really do. Thank you. All right. Fifty-two bits, too, man. It's it's a, a cool cover, man. Pink sharks. We talked about this. I mean, yeah, you know, it's a gorgeous one. I know. I, I know. We talked about it on Vintage Voyage a few times. I know. I know my boy DS is all over it somewhere. I mean, and it's a six zero too. I mean, it's not. A that's a nice copy. grade. Yeah. yeah, I wonder if you lost out to DS because that's at least like a good loss. Well, I, I hope I did. Um, what's the last one here? And yeah, baby, beat I, ass corner cut raggedy. But still, is it complete? I, I didn't even dig into it. I mean, it's missing that corner. Yeah, but I mean, Some, does that have like did a front, it. does that have like a back cover and pages? Or is I, that... didn't, I didn't look for the completeness. <laughs> I really didn't. I just like saw it. Sign too. I wonder if that's real. I don't know, dude. dude I, I, that, that's the I'm name not sure of the what's guy going on there, but that's a gorgeous fucking cover, man. Yeah. Dude, that's, I, that's somebody. That was somebody's only girlfriend in like 19, <laughs> 1948. Yeah, and son, I don't think that's Baker. I think that's like and, some dude. He wrote, like, yeah, he wrote his <laughs> name right where he was staring when he got this when he was eight. I, I, my, it was a, it's a one bid one. This was an insta buy for somebody. He's like, I know my friends are gonna steal this, and, and so I'm just gonna put my name in big, huge letters, the first place that their eyes are gonna look. Yeah. Well, he missed yeah. it. No, nah, he's just the first dude to have his girls get tats on their thighs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Brian, I tagged you, sir. All right. Uh, we're going to go through these fast. There's stuff all over the place, but this is craziness. There must have been like 200 Probstein auctions for this 2020 Pokemon Champions Pass Charizard PSA 10. They all sold for this amount. There must have been 200 of them. I swear. It was absolutely crazy what these things are selling for and how many of them sold this last week. Um, this is interesting. Uh, Spider-Man, the McFarlane era prisms. Look at some crazy prices on those. This is crazy. Magic the Gathering revised edition 11 sealed booster packs sold for 63 bids for $2,700 for like Jesus. 15 packs, I think, maybe. Is that, is that the Lotus card? I don't think so. I don't think so. Chat, let us know. What's, if any of you guys know what's crazy in these Magic ed Revised Edition 11 packs, uh, I would love to know. Um, all right. This is also crazy. Look at these. These are Yu-Gi-Oh! starter decks, not Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh! Look at those prices on those things. 5,600, 3,000, 6,500, 3,000. Absolutely bonkers. Um, so this is uh, – we talked about the – Martin Van Buren autograph, I think, last week. Here's some more presidential stuff. Not autographs, but pieces of hair. 
a 2020 historic autographs George Washington piece of hair, a strand of his hair, DNA certified, sold for $687. And a same thing with John F. Kennedy sold for 50, uh, $560. So that's kind of so, crazy. So you could literally like recreate those people in a few years. Yeah, like Jurassic Park. Jurassic presidents. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Pentor, hey, I think the funny. Marvel Now series uh, with uh, uh, first of Deadpool, uh, they might have used these cards to bring all the presidents back. Yeah, that would be awesome, dude. That would be awesome if that's true. Um, this is kind of cool. Another Jay Z. This is the the black refractor at a three ninety nine, sold for twenty two hundred. This is from the oh my 05. gosh, right? Rookie card, man. Rookie Beautiful card. card. That's a great looking card with the green. It's crazy. Whew. A twenty eighteen Star Wars archive signatures chopper. Who who signed this? The guy who created Chopper? I don't know. I couldn't tell you, but Chopper's autograph card sold for seven hundred and sixty-two dollars. It was out of twenty-three. Shout out to uh, MCM fan Tim, uh, absolute geek fan Tim, who builds. He's built a uh, Chopper for the cosplay group, which is kind of cool. But man, Chopper fans seven hundred sixty-two dollars. I don't know who autographed it, but it's kind of crazy. This was interesting. All right, so. I talked about music memorabilia last week, and uh, here's uh, the very first Beatles, um, 1964, Meet the Beatles LP. It, the, the, it's worth more without the BMI publishing. As you can see, a uh, recent one sold for $2,800. There's a, this is kind of cool, an Elvis Presley original Sun 45, sold f uh, just the 45, sold for about 500 And then a Beach Boys uh surfing original 45 sold for twenty six hundred dollars and these are all bids major bids on all these right so this is crazy but here's something really crazy that i want to share with everybody so i think we've talked about this quite a bit and this is the beatles yesterday and today album and this is what the regular cover looks like right so the crazy thing about this album is that originally had the Beatles on there tearing apart a baby. Okay. This is the original album for the Beatles yesterday and today. Uh, it got sent out to record shops. I believe this is what the tale is. I can, we'll read this here in a little bit if I can. Um, but uh, it got sent out to record shops. People freaked out. So they sent the record shops like pasteable covers for these albums. And the few that got out, like this, this is a pa one with it pasted on and they just pasted it over with a new album cover. And then they sent this, this uh, letter to the stores telling them what they're doing and all this stuff. This is the complete presentation, the original album without it pasted on the, the letter and a pasted on copy sold for $1,200. Right. This one is just the, the album with the pasted on copy. You can see up top the original part, but just the album with the pasted cop, uh, cover sold for $1,200. So this is a oh. really rare, famous uh, album in Beatle lore. So if you guys ever see this album, uh, make sure to see if it's got the pasted on cover. And of course, the album that you always want to look for is this one with the, with the babies being the little plastic babies being pulled apart. They call it the Butcher album because um, they're wearing Butcher or cloaks or whatever. So really crazy stuff. I love shit like that. Um, you can always find those like in your half price books or play, you know, places that sell like records and stuff. All right. Where was I? Um, all right. Here's some card stuff. I can't believe this because I'm a huge Lawrence Taylor fan. That was my favorite football player growing up. Uh, my favorite card growing up was the 82 tops Lawrence Taylor rookie. And I always tried to get a PSA 10, but they were expensive. I thought they were expensive back then. But this is a, a, B, a Beckett grading 10, which Jesus. is pristine, which is crazy. But the the 82 tops Lawrence Taylor also came. Uh, there was an inaction card with it. So it's kind of like considered as rookie, but it's the inaction card. This guy has both at pristine tens sold for four hundred thousand dollars. Jesus 
Christ. Do you think they're really tens or I mean Yeah, dude. Okay. Yeah, that's a tough card and that it looks beautiful right there. And if yeah. you buy the the Beckett, I think those are tens. Okay. Yeah, just even just PSA tens are brutally hard to find in that card. Yes. Okay, okay. okay. Say it's the most average player, but the card comes back at a ten. Uh, what are we talking about? Price Depends part? on the set. Uh, the the eighty six eighty seven set has super average players that if you can get them in a high grade, you know, um, high grade, it it'll sell. Or sorry, the eighty six tops, but the eighty six eighty seven Fleer basketball also. If you get them in high grade, they sell for crazy. They're common players. Yeah, because there are people that do kind of like in comics, you know, with the CGC uh, registry sets. Um, there are card collectors who do the same thing, and they want. They want as many high grades to for their set as they can get. So you get a ten in a common, it's going to sell no matter no matter what, just because yeah. they're those guys want that, and they're I hard really, to come by. I really love the eighty five OPG Lemieux right now because if you look at, I mean, this is a nine, it's a PSA nine, and fifty four hundred for a PSA nine is a lot of money. But think about where you would put Lemieux right under Gretzky, right? He's got to be the second greatest, or maybe you could fight that with Gordy Howe as, as him and Lemieux being second greatest. But if you can find uh, OPG Lemieux rookies in high grade, and I would pick them up as much as you can because I don't think they've really taken off to what the Gretzky is doing, and Lemieux is up there. And it's still an OP. They have the same. You have an OPG in the tops. So you want to get the OPG. Uh, super hard uh, to get in high grade. Um, great card, great card. As you can see, one PSA nine sold for fifty four hundred, and this is the type of stuff that Michael Jordan collectors love, right? They love the rare inserts from the late nineties. Here is a PSA ten nineteen ninety six Bowman's Best uh, uncut atomic refractor, sold for nine thousand two hundred dollars. Absolutely that crazy, wow. and that one's greened. Yeah, green. All right, here's the greatest Michael Jordan card, in my opinion. Uh, I know the 86-87 Fleer is the one everybody wants. It's iconic. But this card is so hard to find that I don't even think grading companies will even grade this card anymore because it's, been, it's, it, it's terrible. It was, it was horribly reprinted, right, back then. The star sets are notorious for being reprinted. Very hard to grade. Very hard to tell if, I mean, there's really good reprints out there because that's how they printed them back then. But this is the, so if you remember, the 86-87 Fleer basketball is considered Jordan's rookie. He played, he got drafted in 84, right? So this is three years or two years before that 86-87 Fleer card. Uh, there is other star cards in the set, but this is the main one for it all. This is the Jordan rookie, in my opinion. If I could have any Jordan rookie, this would be it. If I could have any Jordan card, this would be it. This is uh, absolutely amazing. Here's an 84 star Michael Jordan uh, BGS7 sold for $21,600. So. Okay, so was this book, going back, was this was this like in a magazine or something? Or was so, it like different? Is in a pack or what? The way they sold these is in team packs, right, Ben? They sold them in yeah. team packs. They literally cut them and print them and put them in team bags and sold them in team bags and they would send them out. And you could, and I think they only sold certain sets like in individual cities, right, Ben? You could only yeah, get... Yeah, I mean, they were, they were the, dis the distribution was weird on them, and, I mean, they had different, like, little... I mean, there's other there's other Jordan, like, in, like, the 85, he's got, like, four different cards, so it's got, you know, like, they're all kind of different. Um, PSA will not grade star cards at all. They never have... They, I don't think they ever have, um, because the counterfeits are so difficult, and honestly, that's... that. If it wasn't the counterfeit question, this would be a $100,000 card. I mean, it just it it's the counterfeit. Even though it's graded by Beckett, um, there's still questions as to whether or not it's authentic. Um, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, like I said, it would be a hundred thousand dollar card. Super rare card. Super rare. Uh, this c next card is one of my all time grails. It's uh, I. You know, I'm out here in Phoenix. I've been watching Larry Fitzgerald play since he got drafted. Um, out here in Phoenix, we were lucky to have two of the greatest uh, community-minded sports athletes in all of sports at the same time, and Larry Fitzgerald and Shane Doan. I respect those people, those two, immensely. And the problem with trying to get Larry Fitzgerald cards is they're 
there's not very many of them, especially the good ones. The playoff contenders is very low printed. This is the uh, SP authentic uh, patch rookie, which they only made out of 25. They've always been hard to find Larry Fitzgerald rookie cards. And this one is t- one or two. Uh, this recently sold for $3,300, uh, which is, I, I, you rarely see them. I, I'm not surprised. All right, here's a couple more. So you've got the 2017 Panini Prism Patrick Mahomes Prism rookie, recently sold for 10 grand. I believe Doc Joe and Trey both bought one of these, Sean, if I'm not mistaken. A couple when I the collectibles so. when the collectibles first started, they each picked up one of these for like 900 bucks or something or 700 bucks. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, then we have of course, this is a PSA 9 Tops 50th Kobe that recently sold for 3700. Um, and a 0809 Tops Chrome Kobe Orange Refractor, but it's the Kobe with LeBron guarding him that sold for $3,600 with 19 bids. So absolutely crazy. Listen, there, there were card sales in the last two weeks, guys, that are absolutely mind-blowing on eBay, and I'm not even touching, getting anywhere near to some of the crazy cards that were sold just on eBay. Uh, here's some more comic stuff. These are all uh, <laughs> Marvel Jesus masterpieces. Christ. Look at the prices on these. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys still got a fucking unopen box of that shit. <laughs> like, it's in my bedroom. It's my, uh, I got a corner of shame. It's like my my corner of shame with all my Marvel cards that I was supposed to have already sent to Stein so he could look at them. <laughs> uh, unopened boxes, some of them in sleeves that I mangled because I don't even know how to get cards in sleeves. <laughs> yeah bananas absolutely. it's crazy it's crazy they think, I, if anybody at home thinks i'm listening or i'm uh i'm like exaggerating i'm not i literally don't know how to get them in the sleeves without like it's bad so what we're looking at here cut is the corner four four recent sales of marvel cards with each an average of uh what like well one was 2900 one was 3900 another one was 800 another one was 1300 Absolutely crazy. They're all PSA 10s, so it must be super hard to get PSA 10s. Um, well, the other thing is PSA is shut down right now. Exactly. And I saw a lot of raw card sales, too, over the last week. All right, here's some interesting stuff. Uh, I talked about the homies last week. Here's another set of homies. The series five, or This is three figures uh, sold for $51. My second grail for G.I. Joe is the carded storm shadow 84 peach carded storm shadow here's one that's an afa 80 recently sold for 3100 dollars, and the famous gi joe Starduster complete uh loose sold for 258 dollars. can i ask you something about these uh gi joes mm-hmm. so aren't they all gonna eventually explode in those packages because the rubber bands are bad no, the rubber bands, well, they're probably, a lot of them, the rubber bands are already loose, but because they're in the bubble, they, they stay together a little bit, but a lot of them are already, even in the bubble, they're broken. There's a lot of them that are already broken. And also, if you didn't take good care of where you stored a sealed card and how you stored it, that bubble is popping off. So you're right, Nico, a lot of these figures are falling apart and that's why this one sold for so much and also look how white the storm shadow is that figure well, yellows well, over time what the fuck do you do hey no, there's keep, nothing keep you can them, do that's why it sells for thirty one hundred dollars for keep an on, keep, them, keep like, them dark keep them dark keep yeah them cool. that's well, all I, you can, keep them dark keep them dry keep them cool that's all you can do i, yeah, I heard shoot, somebody shoot, say shoot like comics <laughs> i heard somebody say collectibles that have more than one material suck to deal with comics fit in there with the staples and the paper these are worse plastic glue adhesive i mean use so many things you're dealing with it's it's freaking tough yeah um all right one of the greatest all-time gi joe sold recently this is uh by far in the lore of gi joe probably the greatest figure in the lore of gi joe it is a prototype figure called the Pimp Daddy Destro. Oh, yeah. And that's the, a name given to it by G.I. Joe fans. In 1997, Hasbro decided to put out this Destro figure looking like this, but uh, I think they pulled it back because it had some type of pieces in it that uh, were childproof. It came with like a little uh, a disc shooter thing, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Like a pimp cane? Yeah, well, I wish. But they decided <laughs> not to sell it, and only a few got out, and here is one of them. 
uh, Pimp Daddy Destro. They actually remade this figure for San Diego Comic Con, I believe, one wow. year. Yeah, so you can was buy it. Comic Con or was it GI Joe Fest? I think it was Comic Con. Um, so, but yeah, here we go. Loose forty five biz thirty five hundred dollars. Amazing score right there. Absolutely amazing. All right, some more crazy card stuff. Uh, Zion Williamson silver PSA cards are selling for five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars for a Zion Williamson silver. Hey, let He's me just met. say, Zion is is going. I mean, in five years, you will probably be saying, "Why didn't I buy Zion?" Is he that yeah. good? Then? He's, he's yeah. bullying people. They call it calling him point point Zion these days. He's he, running he, point over there. He will be. He in five years when LeBron is gone, he will be the face of the NBA. The, the only issue probably is, in all honesty, like as violent as he goes, like. Ten good years is probably what you're gonna get. But I mean, I'm not saying that's like a small amount of time for 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 an athlete's career, but like you know, it's just yeah. Well, they I mean, say you know what I mean. You're like Blake Blake Griffin trajectory as far as you know injuries and violence and and uh, stuff like that. Although he's a lot shorter, but yeah. Well, I heard one when he was being drafted that they were kind of like uh, talked about how how strong Bo Jackson was when Bo Jackson suffered that hip pointer, right? He basically on his own because he was so strong caused his hip to pop out of socket. Well, they're saying that Zion Williamson is so strong that he could jump and just injure himself because of how much power is being, you Jeez. know? Yeah, yeah. He popped it. He popped his air maxes, dude. <laughs> and this, well, same, same uh, Blake. I mean, Blake Griffin's injury. He, that's why he, his rookie year was his actual second year. He didn't play a game. He dunked so hard, he split his kneecap. Yeah, when, when he landed. Yep. You know what I mean? That I mean that that's just insanity. So that I means just just raw power. <laughs> where if you live if you live that high in the world, you know, and he he just bullies through people. He's a really yeah. smart player too. Like he like he knows the competition. He knows how to get through people. He knows how to play against athletic bigs and unathletic bigs and stuff like that. So yeah, Ben's not wrong. This 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 dude might even be better than people were thinking. I love to see Steve Nash get some love. Uh, here's a the famous 1996 Topps Chrome set. They're probably up there with the 86, 87 set as the one of the greatest sets of all time. And this is one of the cards in that set that for the longest time got no love, absolutely no love, and now it's getting it. Steve Nash rookie, a PSA 10, sold for two thousand, just under two thousand dollars. Pretty sweet, um, and a. BGS six, a six of the famed Dwayne Johnson's Miami Hurricane. Why didn't I buy that when we talked about that I back told in, the, you. Uh, yeah, in the dark right? days? Yeah, two thousand dollars for a six. And and just because you brought up, uh, we're showing the rock card on there. You guys seen what the uh, Brock Lesnar numbered cards are going for? Yeah, yeah. Another yeah, card we brought up recently. Yeah, uh, I think a, the day. a friend of mine picked up a like a, a the Brock Lesnar numbered. I think it's. I don't. I think it's a nine ninety nine. Actually, the leaf one. He picked up a PSA nine for like twenty five bucks at a store like six months ago and just sold it for a grand. And but I think the ten was like two grand or something. Numbered Brock Lesnar um, with the Vikings. Vikings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he has like two or three rookies. So be on the lookout for those Lesners. All right. Yeah, any Lesners. All right. So this is interesting. Nineteen forty oh, wow. Superman gum trading card from nineteen forty. So for uh, 35 bids for $2,000, just under 2000 That is super cool because that is super close to the origin of Superman, which to me makes it even better. Uh, pretty damn cool. A ton of these unopened 96, 97 Upper Deck Space Jam sealed boxes with Michael Jordan and Looney Tunes cards sold for around $1,500 to $1,700 this last couple of weeks. Like four wow. or five, at least five I saw. So I never would have thought I'd see stuff like that. The famed uh, Tiger Woods Upper Deck SP Authentic golf card uh, autographed to 900 I don't think this is as big as the SI card, but it's super, super rare. As you can see, a BGS 9.5, basically a PSA 10, sold for $30,000. And six hundred dollars. Damn. Yeah, great time to sell it, right? Masters weekend. A lot of crazy cards sold over the weekend. Did you I see the, very... the the Hideki Matsuyamas? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So he's so he's only got a few. So I don't think uh, I'm, I'm trying to look right now. He doesn't have 
he does have a 2021 refractor, which are getting bids. So I did, I, you know, as I'm watching the, uh, the Masters on Sunday, so I'm looking up the Matsuyamas. So there's a, a, a 2018 Leaf Executive Collection. Uh, I'm on, on my phone, so of course I can't show it. But uh, somebody bought it March 12th, uh, uh, basically one of one with like a full auto on the card from the Leaf Auto for 25 bucks. Wow. And then and then on Saturday sold it for 255 and it's it's the same card. And the only other card that was listed, like actual cards or people like making fake cards or something like that. Anyway, uh, the only card there was an auto rookie uh, a one on one leaf masterpiece with just his hand and it went it went at 500 bucks on uh yeah, went up went at 500 bucks on uh Saturday. Saturday. And Sunday, then Saturday. no, on Saturday. So somebody somebody's specking on Saturday with that lead, and so I mean the uh, so there's two one in one autographs out there, and other than I see some some there's uh some ones that are just listed that were actually from this year, so some so I think those are obviously pretty smart buys. Yep. And let's be honest, is the first Japanese champion as well. Like turn on uh, global shipping on your eBay, it might, <laughs> <laughs> it might go okay for you. Oh, yeah. that, guy's, that guy's like a uh, a mega star in Japan. Yeah. Did you see the pictures of him uh, this morning in the airport? No, so I haven't sit, seen anything today. So the, the guy's got this. Uh, somebody had a picture. They sent it to golf. It's it's him at the uh, uh, a flight from there to Chicago to connect to Tokyo. I I'm, I'm taking Instagram's word for this. The picture the picture looks legit. I, I don't know. He can't. He does have a mask on, leaning over, and it's him just sitting by himself. Nobody knows where he is, and and it's six forty five in the morning. And the green jacket is draped over the chair sitting next to him. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, dude. Yeah, boy. Dude, just one of the masters. He's got his jacket and he's just on his phone. Nobody's All right, there. So I've got three more. And uh, this one's kind of interesting. We've talked um, Voltron a lot on this channel. Here is a original Japanese vintage, I guess, like Poppy Go Lion. This wow. is the original from Japan, the Ooh, paper wee. packaging. Ooh, yeah, the Holy metal shit. ones, not the big ones. The fa the big one, plastic ones are great, but they're not as cool as the metal ones. Uh, absolutely just stellar. And I'll show you guys some great pictures of this. Um, really cool to see stuff like this. Where the fuck they find this? A warehouse? And that's beautiful. Look at that. Jesus. And it was this thing has been played with, he said, five times it's been put together. The figure has been put together five times, so he was Dude, honest about it. Sick, gorgeous, Look how beautiful these shit. are. I mean, the OG. He's never pulled any of these out. Shining. Yeah. Did he shoot? He did. had to have shot their heads off. I if hope he did. He did. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you would do it. You would do it right before you mail it out. And just hope it doesn't break. <laughs> Sold for eighteen fifty. That's a pretty good. damn. Because cool. nobody knew to look for it, man. Yep. Yeah. Yep, pretty damn. Yeah, I would have paid eighteen fifty yeah. for that. <laughs> Here's my last in a lifetime. Oh wow! All right, so this is this is pretty cool, right? I've never seen these. I don't know what these are. Uh, Panini HRX Black Friday Tupac and Notorious B.I.G. trading cards. One, the Tupac sold for six hundred with twenty four bids, and the the Biggie sold for four hundred with forty bids. But this put me on a little trip, a uh, little search, and I saw one of the coolest things I've ever seen for sale on eBay that somebody won recently. It is a Tupac Shakur signed handwritten track list, JSA authenticated, Jesus. 76 bids, sold for $4,200. That right there is what Market Report is about. That right there is showing you the most amazing mm -hmm. stuff that I I might think about giving like my pinky for something like this. This is fucking <laughs> history, man. This is fucking cool as shit. So that is 